welcome or welcome back on C-square. In this uh, uh, short video, we are going to talk reflecting over y equals x or y equals negative x. And let's start with the first example. We have the segment AB, the endpoints 4 and 7 and 2 and negative 3. We want to reflect it over y equals x. First of all, let's see how y equals x looks like. In case you do not remember, this is uh, y equal x. It is the line that bisect cut in half quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Uh, let me take the first point to reflect as 2 and negative 3, the point B. And uh, the idea of this reflection over y equals x is the same like the other reflection. Try to get uh, the point B prime that is the same distance from this uh, blue, li blue line like point B. So I honestly go like this. And I didn't do a very good job, but still, and let's try to do one more time. See, it's like uh, cutting two squares in half and uh, rather half of the square we're cutting in half. We're going to do the same movement here. And that should be the point B prime, which if we look is nothing else than negative 3 and positive 2. So let's write these two points. So B... 2 and negative 3 under over reflection over y equals x becomes b prime, which is negative 3 and 2. So now let's try to get the rule xy, right, becomes under a reflection over y equals x, nothing else than y, x. Yeah, x and y switch interchange is another word that you can hear for a reflection over y equals x. So basically now the point a4 and 7 will be if you set 7 and 4 then you did a wonderful job. And now let's go to the last reflection on this uh, clip which is y equals negative x. That is the line of reflection which is Something like that. The other, the other line that bisects the other two quadrants, in this case, quadrant two and four. Um, and yeah, we can use the same point two and negative three. And that is the point B, which reflected over is going to be right there. So 2 and negative 3 becomes 3 and negative 2. So basically now we're going to try to get the rule xy becomes, let's take a look, negative y, negative x. In other words, besides switching, interchanging uh, x and y, we have also to change the sign. So 
let's see the point A now for the third one becomes A prime negative 7 negative 4 if you enjoy this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared Thank you.